Tonight, we continue our I-Team investigation of homes at Fairway Oaks here in Jacksonville. That subdivision was built in 2000 by Habijacks with the help of 10,000 volunteers. Since the construction, homeowners have reported sinking slabs and slabs cracking. Tonight, News 4 Jax has obtained a 2007 draft of a lawsuit against Habijacks, accusing the nonprofit of breach of contract. John of Francesca Amaker has been looking into that and also into a report of toxins in the soil. Fran? Potential toxins here, a draft of allegations and a lawsuit right here. The Homeowners Association has been collecting these documents for years, and now they say they are ready for it to pay off. In 2016, they are demanding answers from Habijacks. We just had a moment where we took a picture together, and I was getting ready to hammer that nail, and he was saying, please don't hit my finger. <laughs> you thought you were about to be living a dream. Yes, yes. Donna Johnson has been known as the candy lady in this Fairway Oaks subdivision for many years. But Wednesday afternoon, our conversations weren't so sweet. And then we're looking at another crack going across your kitchen. Mm-hmm. Ten years as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, along with many other homeowners, say just years after purchasing their homes from Habijacks, their dreams turned into nightmares and even began splitting in half. From one side to the other, all the way in the house, and you can see it on both outside of the house, all the way across. A reoccurring foundation problem at several of these homes, and the issue was almost taken to court back in 2007. Tonight, the I-Team obtained a draft of the Jacksonville Area Legal Aid lawsuit against the nonprofit, prepared on behalf of 14 different homeowners, including Ms. Johnson. It stated the homes were not properly cleared of tree roots before pouring concrete slab foundations. And the concrete slabs were poured before the land was evaluated by city building inspectors. The lawsuit also points out a breach of contract stating the land where the homes were built was unable to fully and adequately support the homes, thus causing the homes' walls and floors to crack. On top of settling, the attorney working the case in 2007 cited the limited soil investigation of Gulf Brook Terrace apartments prepared by Ellis and Associates back in 1997. The report found that pesticides, chromium, lead, and arsenic were detected in one soil sample taken from Gulf Brook Drive and Brook Forest Drive. Aluminum was found in four of the soil samples. And arsenic in soil tests was also conducted, and 12 soil samples were collected. The report shows that all of them contained arsenic. Ms. Johnson is now going into her 17th year paying a mortgage on her home, and she's just wondering if Habijax is waiting until year 25 when the mortgages are all paid off. So this issue will no longer be their problem. It's scary, you know. I don't even drink the water. I buy bottled water all the time. I, I have to bathe in it, you know, but I don't drink it. And it's got to get better. They got to do something mm -hmm. or else it's going to always be there because I want my dream back. I want my dream home back. Now, we have reached out to the mayor's office, and they have directed our request to Habitat for Humanity of Jacksonville, known as Habijax. I've also reached out to Councilwoman Katrina Brown, who is new to this area and has told residents that she's working on this issue but did not hear back just yet. And again, as I stated, when we first broke this story to you about Habitat for Humanity, they say they will no longer be making a comment because the homeowners are now represented by Jacksonville Area Legal Aid. But now reporting live in the newsroom, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.